Hello everyone, it's Tracy here, back with another video. So I'm starting with the Lawn Fawn Hearts dies today, and I am going to be using all of them. And I have a piece of white cardstock that I am going to be die cutting them from. So I'm just situating them where I want them to go so I can run them through my cuddle bug all at the same time. So this did take me quite a while, so I'll just cut until I have them all placed down with some washi tape so that I can run them through my cuddle bug. So I'll go ahead and put those in between my cutting plates and then run that right through. And then that part is going to stay white. I'm going to watercolor the background of that, so I'll be using some watercolors to um, color that and then this white piece will be popped up on my card base so I can go ahead and remove those and when I was doing this my kitten was in the same room as me and she decided to jump up and walk on the screen so I thought I would leave that in so that you guys can see her alright so I got her down and then I sped this part up a little bit but I am using the peerless watercolors so I'm going in a rainbow order so I'm using the marigold yellow and then I'm doing um, red orange green blue and purple so the orange color that I chose is called chrome yellow um, it's a little bit there is a chrome orange but the Chrome yellow is more orange to me, so it was a little bit um, odd, I guess you could say. Um, and then the red that I used is called Blood Red. And then I also have Grass Green, Cobalt Blue, and Amethyst. So you can see I just have a paintbrush with some water, and then you get some water on your paintbrush, and then put it on top of the, or put it on the, um, the little sheet of color and then you can watercolor with it and it's this really vibrant um, color it's really pretty in person and they're a lot more vibrant than like distress inks um, but they're more sheer than the Ganzai watercolors so they are all a little bit different um, I couldn't decide which ones to get um, I was going to just get one and I kind of asked on Instagram and a lot of people said, you know, that they had their preferences, but that they are all different, and it's true. All of these types of watercolor are truly different. They all have different looks, different colors, etc. So, um, I just kind of play around with it. Maybe get one at a time and see what you like if you're in the market for some watercolors. So, I went ahead and let that dry, and I cut out this U dye from Simon Says Stamp out of black cardstock. And I'm going to adhere that onto the heart piece of paper. I'm using the multi matte medium. I just squirted a little bit of that onto my nonstick craft sheet. And then I'll use these tweezers just to kind of put some um, areas of that die cut into the glue. You don't have to cover it all completely or anything because it's such a light die cut that just a little bit of adhesive will do. And then I'm going to place that right in, onto my white cardstock. You can see there's kind of a space there, and part of it will go over the heart die cut, but that's okay. And then I'm using the U stamp set from Simon Says Stamp, and the one I'm using says you are the best, or it just says are the best, but the sentiment will say you are the best. And I'm stamping that with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. This is a really good stamp and die combination and it's really affordable because it is a smaller stamp set but there's a lot of different sentiments that you can use and I mean for any card. So I'm adhering down my rainbow piece and you're going to see I change this up a little bit in the end. Um, you'll see what I do to change that. But I just adhered that onto a white A2 size card base. And then I adhered some foam squares all over the back of my heart piece. I couldn't find my large ones when I was doing this. I don't. I have no idea where they went, but I thought I had a whole package of them. But I just used the small ones for now. And you can see how some of the um, watercolor is out coming out of the sides, which I didn't really like, which 
I'm going to change, so I'll show that in a minute, but first I'm just adhering down these white sequins from Pretty Pink Posh. Again, I'm using the Multi Matte Medium. Alright, so chain, to change that border, I thought I would go with some black to match my U die cut. So I'm taking the Ganzai Tombi watercolors and in the black color, and I'm just coloring in the edge completely black. So it took a few coats just to cover it, but it did work really well, and I like the black a lot better. The reason I did this is because everything was already adhered into place, and I didn't want to cut strips of cardstock or change it like that or anything like that. So this way it worked really well. So you can always, you know, change things on your card after if you didn't like them. But here is the completed card. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys back here next time. Bye!